Hello everyone, here's a quick and easy scrunchie tutorial for you. First you're going to want to grab some fabric. You can either use stretchy or not stretchy fabric for this, both will work. You're going to want to grab a ruler, um, this long and see-through one works great. You're going to want to grab something to cut with, either a rotary cutter or some scissors will work. Your hair tie and something to mark with. First thing you're going to want to do is cut out your pieces. You'll have three pieces here. Your strip will be 3.5 by 22, and then your two other pieces will be 2.5 by 12. So I use this piece here that I've made myself. It, like I said, it's 2.5 by 12, and it's pointed at the edges, and this is what I use to trace out my bunny ear part. It's nothing fancy, but it's what I use, and you can make one of these easily too. So this part can be a little tricky, so just work it through slowly. You're going to grab your hair tie and your long strip of fabric that you've cut out. And you're going to sandwich your hair tie in between your fabric with the right sides of the fabric together. And then you're going to pin it all the way down. Okay, once you have it all pinned along, you'll see it's already starting to look like a scrunchie. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just uh, needs to be put together so that it's easier to sew along. Okay, so now we're going to sew it together. If you're using knit or stretchy fabric, um, I suggest you use this uh, walker foot. It will just be a lot easier. So you're going to grab your fabric, back stitch, and you're going to stitch with about a quarter to a half an inch seam allowance all the way down the strip. Now that you have it all sewn together, you're going to turn it inside out. So you'll just grab one end and start working it out this way. Kind of push it in with your fingers and then pull it as you go. Now that you have it turned right side out, you're going to have your two raw edges here. What you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to uh, Fold one edge in all the way around, just like this. See how there's no more raw edges there? And you're going to tuck one into the other. Now it should look something like this, and now we're just going to slow sew along here. So you're going to want to go slow on this part when you're stitching down um, with your fingers and make sure you know where your hair tie is and stop before you get to the hair tie. You don't want to sew over the hair tie. Okay, so it should look a little like this. It doesn't have to look perfect because we're going to put the tie over it so it will be covered up. Okay, now you're going to take your two tie pieces and you're going to put them together, right sides together. So if you have a pattern on your uh, ties and you want to make sure that that pattern is, they're facing each other. Mine doesn't really matter, so. And you're going to pin all the way across. Okay, now that you have it all pinned, we're just going to sew all the way around. So you're going to want to start by back stitching and then stitching all the way around. You're not going to want to sew it completely shut. You're going to want to leave about an inch open so that you can turn it right side out. So with that little hole that you left open, you are going to now turn this inside out. So just start moving it out. Now that you have your piece right side out, you're going to take something pointy like this pencil that I have here. Um, and put it inside the hole that you left open and just make sure those uh, ends are nice and sharp. All right, now that you have those where you want them to be, you are going to just close up that little hole that you left by sewing it down. Okay, now that you have your little hole sewed up, you're just going to tie it onto your scrunchie. 
So you're gonna take your scrunchie right here where you sewed it up and you're gonna put your tie through and just tie it like you would tie a normal knot. And just make sure that that's in the middle so it's not showing. Tie it nice and tight. And there you have it. Super cute scrunchie.